excited because I'm, uh, I'm just excited because we're gonna be trying, um, Japan Crate. Now this is the FYE exclusive, so I just went in and picked this up at the store and just bought it. But I was thinking about trying Japan Crate, so this is perfect. So let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh. So here's everything. Is this the size of the premium? I don't know. So there's a lot of cute stuff in here already. I can't. So this is a snack box. I've seen a lot of good things about it. So here is the front of the pamphlet. Let's see what's on the inside. So the inside tells you everything that is in here, but we're not going to look at that. And what is this? Oh, nutrition facts. Look at that for all the snacks, but we're not gonna look at that yet. And then I have a gift voucher. That's awesome. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pick something random out of the box and we're gonna go ahead and try it. What is this? It looks like, so this looks like it's a uh, snap pea snacks. I don't know, snap pea snacks? This is why we have scissors, kids. It has a fire thing, so is it spicy? Is it like wasabi peas or something? Like wasabi edamame? It smells pretty good. So here's what the snacky looks like. Super duper interesting shape. Let's go ahead, give it a try. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I think it's supposed to be like edamame beans. Or something. It's not that bad. It's not terrible either. I'd eat this. I I I'd eat this. Like it has a weird taste at first, but then as you keep chewing it, it's fine. Alright. Next snack. Let me clear this out. Yeah, so there's a lot of variety in here. You get like sweet snacks, weird snacks. Oh, there's a drink in here too. Ooh, what? Ooh, what is that? Oh my gosh, there's just so much. Oh, I also noticed this, so I guess this is the little collectible that you get. So it's a stick marker. Very super duper cute. So there you go. And that snack just activated my hunger. So we're gonna keep digging in here and eating. Um, this is Sanaku Crackers. Oh, snack crackers. So it looks like it's a uh, vegetable flavor. Snack crackers. Oh, here comes my dog. <laughs> my cup is open too. <laughs> Hi, can I help you? Guys, look. Do you want to say hello to the people? <laughs> that was Selena's wise words of, of wisdom, everybody. Let, let's continue with the snack trying. So, here's what it looks like. It's very small triangle. Wait, wait, wait. All right, I kind of want to get the weird snacks out of the way, so then when my sweet tooth kicks in, oh gosh, is this gonna be the weird one? I don't know if this is weird or if it's sweet, because I've had this like this like brand before. And it usually ends up being something weird. So <laughs> let's just um let's see. This looks like it's a corn snack, corn pottage, corn, corn pottage, corn snack. Yep, it smells like corn. Here you go. 
it's popped. I guess I'm getting my daily intake of vegetables. It's legit corn. What? What? Guys, it legit just tastes like corn. It's one way to get your kids to eat their vegetables. This is good. I don't I don't I don't mind. I like it actually. <laughs> okay. Alright. What else? I see what the Sam Spade is this. Oh, you know, I should be looking at the pamphlet. Like while we're going through each of the snacks. So we just tried. So these are Ginbis Edamami biscuits. And then these are Seneca, yeah, Seneca Snacku crackers. Or snack, yeah, Snacku crackers. Um, what else did we just try? We tried, oh yeah, Plon this is Polonky. Light corn puffs, legit corn puffs. So let's go ahead and is that really cheese scones? Okay, hold on. Uh, I what is this? These are rice snacks. It's a sweet and savory nori flavor. We're gonna put that aside because these cheese scones. Japanese cheese puffs, guys. This bag is so full. Here we go. Please open regularly. Please open regularly. It smells like cheese puffs. Oh, it is a cheese puff. There you go. Looks like a cheese puff. Hmm. I'm not a fan. Cheese puffs. It's it's good. It tastes like a four cheese cheese puff. Cheddar cheese, gouda cheese, Kimberit cheese, mozzarella cheese. Oh, my lactose intolerance is screaming. But it was good nonetheless. All right, let's go ahead and try the the sweet and savory nori crackers. Oh look, there's a tear thing. Oh. All right. Well, here's how it looks like. Go ahead, pop one in. Mmm. 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 Hey, Zing. This one might be my favorite snack so far. I. It's sweet because it has like, like a nice glaze, like a sugar coat on top. You don't even really taste the seaweed. So that's cool. So there's a drink in here. I wanted to say it was for last because I need to drink. But with the premium, I'm pretty sure with all the premium crates, you get a drink. So, it looks like this is melon flavored uh, ramune. I think like ramune straight from the origin country. Oh my gosh, what if it explodes? I'll be back. I'll take you to the sink. Come, come with me to the sink. Okay, here we go. Ta da! No spillage! It smells really good. It smells like actual lemon. Let's go ahead and drink it. Oh, that's so good. That was good. Okay, no spilling. All right, next, what is this? Oh, it's chocolate, okay. I don't wanna endure stomach pain right now. Let's continue with the melon theme. So we have these some, looks like it says Pandoro and it looks like it's supposed to be melon, like melon pond. 
flavored snacks. I really want to try the actual melon pond. I heard it was pretty good. Open this. <gasps> They're so small. Oh wait, no they're not. It's big. Oh gosh. Oh, he broke. Oh, he was supposed to be like one big cracker. Oh, we broke. Okay, that's fine, but here it is. You can kind of like a green tint to it. I didn't think that's the melon flavoring. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh. Mm-hmm. Pandora, me and you, best friends. Wow, that was really good. I might eat this whole dang on thing. So the texture is nice, like a um, like a like a shortbread cookie or sugar bread cookie. Um, all right, so we have a few. This is really good. Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this little chocolate thing here. Whoa. This is what it looks like. And let's go ahead and take a bite. Chocolate covered corn puff snack. Look at that. Yeah, just chuck your chocolate covered corn puff snack. Have much to say about that. Um. Okay, so I'm not gonna try these because, bro, it's Japanese Cheetos. We all know what Cheetos taste like. Hello, Chester over here. It's looking really hype right now with these Japanese Cheetos. If anything, I'm assuming they'll just taste like these, except, you know, like a Cheeto. So we're not gonna bother. Let's continue with the chocolate thing. We have these Shimi Choco Corn. Uh, I wanna assume that it's like chocolate covered puff corn. Yep. Star shapes. Let's let's do it. My brand. Hello. Oh yay! Look at how cute. I love that. All right. Um. Mm. What? Oh. Okay. So. I thought it was like a corn, like a chocolate corn puff. No, it's like, how do I explain myself? I thought it was like, you know, like a cocoa puff, you know, but it's not. It's a literal corn puff that they like dipped in chocolate and put it in this bag and said, here you go, enjoy. That's really cool. All right. We have a couple more snacks. Let's look at this. What is this? What is this? It looks interesting. I thought we were getting a weird snack. Texas corn. It has flavor with light onokomiyaki sauce. Good thing I didn't drink up all my soda. Oh, it doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> that bad. So, it's a lot of corn pop snacks, like seriously. All right, there's that. Go ahead and give it a try. It's tasty. It's actually really good. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't taste that bad. It doesn't taste that great either. It's just good. It's okay. You do get a little strange aftertaste, but other than that, it's pretty good. Am I sorting these by which ones I like the most? We have some ice cream cones with strawberries on their head. It looks like this is a DIY thing. Let's see. What's happening with this? Neri Cho soft strawberry ice cream. With this DIY kit, you'll be able to make soft syrup ice cream in a unique foamy. Oh, it even comes. Okay, so we're gonna save this for the end. This. Yeah, we'll save this for the end. Maybe.
maybe. So what is this? Long chewing gum. Sour. Cola taste. Really? Uh, I'll be the judge of that. It is indeed very long. Is it really chewing gum? So I'm just gonna break off a little piece. Cola color to it. Let's see. Oh, it smells like cola. And it tastes like cola. Is it really? It is. It is! It's chewing gum. And it tastes like cola. Wow. The flavor seems to be lasting for a while. This... Is this a, is this a one? One pop? Don't stop. What is this? I uh... Ada Awatama Black literally means bubble ball black. Quite ominous for an innocent black cherry candy drop. Hmm. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no. Is it gonna be like sour? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the. I'm gonna save this for last. We're actually gonna go ahead and do this DIY kit. So here's the little cones it comes with you could put your ice cream in and then here's the packet so you need water instructions instructions oh there's there is a spoon oh my gosh there's a spoon in here already all right this is my first time actually doing a diy kit i'm so excited pour that out It's a cotton candy. That's nice. Okay, and then I don't know how much water to pour in. So I'm only gonna pour in a little bit at a time. I spilled. Okay. And now I'm gonna stir it. <gasps> you guys, do you see it? Is it it's foaming? I think I put too much. Oh no! Just gonna keep stirring. Right? Oh my gosh. What do the instructions say? I can't read Japanese, but I can look at pictures. I'm just gonna eat all this foam. Oh, I guess I am. Yeah, I think it's good. Oh my gosh, guys! So this is what it looks like. It's so foamy. I'm gonna go ahead and taste the foam by itself. That's so weird. <laughs> but it's good weird. It's kind of tangy. Let's go ahead and try the cone by itself. Tastes like a regular ice cream cone. Uh, and then I guess you're just supposed to pop it all in your mouth at once. Okay, I take it back. I don't like it. It's foam. It's too foamy for me. What the heck? Okay. Well, that was interesting and I made a mess, but these cones are pretty good. Mm. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Is this legit? Oh, it's a sucky candy. It's a sucky candy. Um, okay. Um, it's sour. I taste it already. It's sour. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it's sour. It's like tingling on my tongue.
it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. It's good, but wow. And my tongue feels violated. So I'm gonna spit this out and maybe I'll have it later. <laughs> okay. Ugh, no one's gonna save me. Please. The thing I noticed about this is that it's plastic, it's not glass. Which is interesting because most of the bottles that I have in my collection are glass bottles. This is my first plastic bottle. I tried all those snacks. I'm just gonna keep the camera like this. You guys love my beautiful face anyway. So, here's the verdict. This was the worst. And this was really good. This was interesting. I think I like, um, I like these better. And then this. Oh, and I definitely these. I might finish these tonight. And I like the gum. The gum is pretty good too. Everything else was either okay. So, yeah, this thing. Guys, I've never had something so sour before in my life. I like sour things. Don't get me wrong, I like sour. But that was just, whoa. And this, that was the Japan Crate video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely gonna be doing more of these on the channel. So, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite snack was and if you want to get your hands on your own japan crate i will leave it in the description down below so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stay kawaii